We often felt we were being watched. Many people who've worked in the house say they felt a strong presence. Once in a while, you know, you, you put something down and come back and think, gee, didn't I put it there and it was someplace else? Now, who, who's to say? Is that, is that our, our memory fading or, or did something really occur? People say they hear sounds coming from empty rooms. We heard babies crying. We went to the toy room in the back. As soon as we walked in the door, the crying stopped. Ghost hauntings. The problem is none of it can actually be uh, explained. None of it can be measured. None of it can really be pinned down. Michael J. Curry is a psychic medium who has conducted paranormal investigations in the Howe Waffle House, named for the first owners. When I went up into the attic, um, I heard all kinds of sounds of children laughing, and we heard, ha, 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 and it sounded like a little girl, and we kept hearing that, ha, 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 and three psychics and I went upstairs into the attic, and we were looking around using a pendulum, and uh, a little red-haired girl appeared, materialized to me. This home was built by Dr. Willella Howe and her husband, uh, Alvin Jared Howe. Dr. Alvin Howe was the second mayor of Santa Ana. His wife, Willella Howe, was the first woman doctor in Orange County. She went to Hahnemann Medical School, came back here, and began her medical practice separate from her husband's. The couple treated patients in their home because Santa Ana didn't have a hospital at the time. Some of the spirits who were here never even lived here. They were patients of hers. Over the years, many patients died in this house. Years later, Dr. Alvin Howe abandoned his wife and children and moved to San Francisco. Dr. Willa Howe had to fend for herself until she met livery stable owner Edson Dwight Waffle. The couple was married for over 25 years. It is believed that Dr. Willa Howe Waffle delivered at least 1,000 babies in Orange County. She was a dedicated physician until the very last moment of her life. In 1924, she died at the bedside of a patient. Some believe her spirit is still in the house looking after her patients. When we came in here, we literally saw somebody, it looked like somebody had taken their hands and they were taking the tools and actually opening them and closing them. But of course, there was no physical hand there. It was a ghostly hand manipulating the tools. In Santa Ana, for Daybreak OC, I'm Allison Landrum.